Hey everyone, Bushin here, welcome back to another video. Uh, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to use McJeb. Uh, in this video it will be uncut, so there'll be no editing throughout this video. Um, what the video is about here today is just using McJeb of getting launched from Kerbin to a orbit. From that orbit we rendezvous to a space station and then we will dock and that will conclude the video of today. So main features of McJib, we have the Ascent Guidance right here. Uh, the Ascent Guidance gives us the ability to set how high we want to go with an orbit. So for me, I always go to 200 kilometers. Um, we have the options of corrective steering, auto stage, auto deploy solar panels, solar panels, my correction there, auto deploy antennas, but none of them be really, I tend not to use them. You can use them for your own preference, but for me, that's my own preference to not to use. Um, we just leave these green. Don't need to worry about them. Uh, now the ascent paths you can change. You go to a edit ascent path. Brings up this little box. You can change how high you go before you turn. Or so, for example, I would to say I want to turn at a higher altitude. I could set it to that. I like to have it quite low so I can turn straight away. Uh, you can also change the turn shape, so, so uh, for example, maybe 60% of a turn shape is acceptable. I like to use that. We can close that off. Uh, we can prevent engines to overheat as well. So if you're in a big rocket and you're you know, turning quite fast, you can stop your engines from, engines from overheating whilst on your ascent up. So straightforward with the ascent guidance, all we need to do is click Engage Autopilot. Uh, which automatically sets your thrust to the max um, and then what we do is we just launch which is spacebar um, so from now on I do not have to control this rocket the ascent guidance will do it for me um, so if I open my ascent path here you will see as well it shows a white line so I'm starting my turn already um, which is cool so you see a little white line appear which will slowly and gradually follow the red line. So what it is, is your rocket is now following your ascent path, is what you've set it to. Um, so we can, I will speed it up a bit. Just warp it up so we can actually get there. <laughs> Might take a while, it's a bit of a slow rocket. So we can keep an eye on it as well. Sometimes, uh, depending on the weight of the rocket, it doesn't have to... Um, sometimes depending on the weight of rocket, it will not follow your ascent path correctly. But that is nothing to worry about. McJeb will always do the corrections to fix that. Uh, that's how smart it is with this plugin. Um, I will be posting the link of McJeb download into the description as well for anybody wanting to download that and use. Uh, you can use Ccan or Curseforge. Curseforge is linked with Twitch. So you see, see you can just follow your directory of the game. Nothing to worry about with that one. Um, so you can see here we're gradually making a what's the word for it? I can't pronounce that properly. My mistake. But we've got a 200 meter kilometer height. Uh, so now what McJeb does is auto warps. Auto warp is a nice feature to have. Um It'll always auto warp you to the, your destination and also slow down before that as well. So we have five minutes to our burn time of 12 seconds and we can now auto warp this, um, which McJeb will do and slow down as well. So the thing about McJeb as well, it will do the very most precise burns. So sometimes you'll have a burn of 0.1 second in, I don't know, it could take four hours for you to go around the planet before you're doing a 0.4 second burn. Um, it's really precise, which is good. It's, one of the, it's a really good feature. So you see how it burns to the last millisecond. Um, we can we can click that. So now you see the Ascent Guidance has disabled the autopilot. Uh, we do not need this anymore, as we are in a stable orbit. And now we will be rendezvousing with this space station I happen to call Mint. <laughs> Um, so what we're going to do there is we open the McJeb tab 
and we want to go to Rendezvous Autopilot. Now, all we have to do now is you select your desired target, set as a target. Now you can choose the desired final distance uh, and your closing velocity. So I like to do 100 meters of a distance because it's not a big rocket that I'm in. Um, wouldn't worry about the max phase of orbits as of now. Just keep that as it is default whenever you load it up. So what we can do now is we have auto op selected. We can engage autopilot. Now the RCS on board will level us up with the maneuver node. And then it will automatically warp. So you see in two minutes here, we have a 0.1 second burn. This, this is how precise it would be. So with the rendezvous autopilot, um, it will basically adjust your orbit to, I think it goes higher than the target and then lower. So basically you will come to the target at a speed, then you will slow yourself down. Um, so you slow yourself down and it just constantly does the smallest move. It's really, it's such a simple program. It, it follows its, uh, follows its route. It's not a hard thing to follow by. Um, I'm pretty sure there's better tutorials out there, but I'm hoping mine does help. Uh, so it's saying here, the next intercept window will be 2025 orbits away, but we don't need to worry about that. We'll ignore that. I don't know why it says that when I'm really close for it. So you see we've adjusted the knob here to get higher, and then we're going to come lower into it as well. So we have 21 minutes for a two-second burn. We're just going to speed that up because I do not want to be sat here for 22 minutes waiting. Um, you can wait yourself. That's fine. You can always warp it. McJeb will always slow it down for you. Um, you will see exactly how precise the burns are. So that it's still burning itself to get to the right uh, line. It gets directly on the line. There's no, there is no above or below. It's very precise. There is some faults with McJeb sometimes, um, where it can mess up with rendezvousing. That can all depend on the size of the rocket, whether it's got enough force and thrust power to do that. Or sometimes McJeb can just be a bit broken on that side. Um, yeah, the rendezvous is pretty straightforward. Once you've activated your target, you just let it do its thing. Um, it's straightforward, simple. Uh, the I will explain through some of the other McJeb features in another video, but for now we'll just focus on the launch rendezvous and dock. So as you can see now, we have a 20 minute wait before we do another two second burn, but as I said, we'll speed it up. And we'll do the time warp. Uh, you can see there, I if you just saw that white light, that would have actually been our station. There it is. You can see it go by. So what we are going to do now is we're going to burn towards it. And then we're going to rotate the ship, and it's going to burn to slow itself down. This is really cool. So it does the very precise burns, because if I'd have gone any faster than this myself, it would overshoot. Um, so you see it's trying to like level itself off with it. It's, it's really smart how it does. Um, it's such a smart program to use. I would highly recommend it for any bit of new starting in Cabal Space Program. Um... I've I've spent a lot of hours using this program. I've gone to distant planets I'd never thought I'd reach with it. <laughs> um, just really good. So basically now we're coming up to the last part of the rendezvous. Uh, so it's planning to match the velocities that are closest approach. And it will we'll just speed it up a little bit. So you see how we are getting very close to it. Now we are going to burn to slow down. In four seconds, we'll do a point of a seven second burn. So now we are within 100 meters of this. Ah, it's going to do one more, a couple more burns, two more burns, I think. Um, so you see there, it missed the maneuver node and it started burning. That sometimes when it gets close to the thing, it can panic a bit. Um, but. It will always manage to correct itself. There's no problem without that. 
I think if he does ever have a problem with rendezvousing, your best bet would probably just to restart the launch. Um, I know it's a pain to do. It can be quite long and tedious, but it's worth it. So you now see we have the rendezvous has disengaged as we are within 100 metres of the station. Uh, this is a tricky part that some people can get confused with. We want to open docking autopilot. So now to dock a ship, you need a two docking ports for the same, otherwise it will not dock. So we will right click our docking port and we'll control from here. And then we have to click a docking port on the ship and set as a target. Now we will choose, to choose the speed to come in at five meters a second, bit too fast in my opinion for any any rocket uh maybe when you're close to the ship about 0 0.1 meters a second is perfect so what we can do now is we click autopilot enable and it will see it will start moving to the starting point so this will level the docking port with that docking port and it will start moving at five meters a second so you see it's speeding up there i want to slow it right down because I'm going to come in a bit too fast. So all you have to do to change the speed is you just press the number and press enter. And you will start. It will change its speed. Um, also, when I get a bit closer, I'm going to slow it down to about 0.5. I don't want to hit it too hard in case it uh, bumps it out of its positioning in orbit. Um, yeah, this is a, it's a really cool feature. It docks it. Nice and slow. It even shows you how far you've got to docking. So we have 35 meters at the minute. Um, you can override the safe distance. Cause sometimes with uh, some ships has a safe distance to stop you from hitting it or damaging the station or your rocket itself. So now you'll see we're coming at 0 0.5 meters a second. It even shows it on our nav hood there now ball whatever you'd like to call it um so we're 11 meters out coming to a nice dock probably change it to about one meters a second about now this is my preference to coming out with 0 0.1 meters a second anybody else can do as they please but you can see it takes a nice steady approach maybe speed it up a little bit um so this is, this is good for like docking, you can dock astronauts, you can refuel it. Um, you know, you can always take a lot of fuel up to refuel the batteries, fuel, anything like that. It's always cool. Um, there is other features such as like the landing back on Kerbin. You can use that, but that's, we'll use that for another video with the other parts. Um, so yeah, as you see now, we've docked. The RCS will slow you right down before. We turn the RCS off there. We've got already SAS enabled on this ship, so that will stay steady. Uh, once you have docked, this will just turn to this little box. You can just close it off there. So that's about it. We have a docked rocket now. Um, that's basically it for this video. Sums it up. So for anybody that doesn't remember, you can either go back on the video and watch, but it starts with ascent guidance the rendezvous autopilot and the docking autopilot. Um, three simple steps, broken down to the best ability I can explain to you. Like I said, there's probably better tutorials out there, but I hope mine does some help. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.